Hello and welcome back my friends. Today I'm going to show you how to take a photograph and turn it into a sketch which is a really great feature if you are creating digital products for selling on Etsy or Shopify. So stay tuned. All right, so the other day I posted uh, a uh, some artwork where I went from this photo to this to this and this is some really cool stuff and I'm going to show you how I got from point A to point B. So I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to search for a photo of a couple and um, I'm going to pick a totally different um, photo just so that I could take you through the whole process. So why don't we choose this one? Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this photo and I am going to use a feature called magic grab. And, um, but before I do that, I'm just going to switch over to the new editor. Okay. So here is Magic Grab. Uh, you can get to Magic Grab just by clicking your photo, going to Edit Photo, and clicking Magic Grab. And what Magic Grab does is it just separates the background from the main um, subject of the photo um, so that you can easily grab um, the su uh, subject. Okay. So you can see there that it, it is detached now. So I'm just going to make a copy of that. And um, I seem to have lost. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to delete the background because I don't want the background. I just want the image of the um, people. And um, what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to um, take this image and I'm going to download it um, only because sometimes, um, you know, there are certain glitches on Canva and um, I just don't want to lose uh, this uh, edited photo. So I'm just going to um, download it and then re-upload it into uh, Canva. Now, if you don't want to do that, that's okay. You can, can, can continue. Um, and, you know, hopefully um, things will work out for you as you're going through the process uh, like I am. So, but I am just going to, for the sake of um, making sure things go properly, I'm going to click transparent background and I'm going to download this and create a new page. I'm just going to wait for that to download. Here it is. I'm going to bring it in here. Here is my image. Okay. I'm just going to make that bigger. And I know that he's missing his uh, part of his hat. Um, so I'm just going to try and uh, make it larger to compensate for that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image and I am going to, uh, I've clicked the image and I'm going to go back to edit photo and I'm going to go to the old editor. Okay. You'll find the old editor down here and you'll see you're using the new photo editor to use the old experience. Click here and I'm going to revert to the old editor. Okay. Now that I've got the old editor, I'm going to click my image again. I'm going to edit image and I'm going to scroll all the way down. I'm going to scroll all the way down to paint effects and I'm going to see all of them. And I'm going to choose uh, this one called Windell. Okay. And sometimes it might take a few minutes. Just be patient. Um, you'll get there. 
Okay, so here it is. And now you can go in to customize and um, you can, if you, you can, you know, toggle and see the differences between um, low, which will be more pixelated, or you can toggle over to the high. which is going to look something like that. Now, I kind of like the medium one, so I'm going to stick with the medium one because you've got kind of that grainy um, feature in there. And you'll notice that the background's back. So, um, and sometimes that will happen. You'll also notice that there's an intensity here and you can toggle the intensity to bring down that textured look if you like. But I'm just going to, bring that all the way up and I'm just going to say apply. Now I'm going to go back into edit image because I want to remove that background. So I'm going to click edit image and I am going to click here to remove the background. And there we go. Um, I am just going to see if I can bring that down a little bit like that. Okay. And so here is my image now, and it looks like a kind of like a painting with a, a very nice uh, textured effect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into edit image. And I'm going to go to filters and I'm going to choose the grayscale. And um, leave it at that. So at this point, you can add some text. So you can come in here, you can choose some text. You can, um, I, now I'm just using Jack and Jill. Um, and I'll just make a copy of that to put in the date. Uh, and I'll put uh, February 14, 2020 as the year that uh, they met. And now we can just choose a very nice font like uh, Isom script. And we can make that um, larger like this. And we can apply a an effect, the so that we can see the the uh, imprint of the names, and um, of course you can make that larger. And of course you can you know move that over to um, somewhere else in the photo. And if you're finding that um, the lettering is too dark, you can always change that um, to a different color. All right, so that's pretty much how I turned a photo into a um, sketch. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to be notified when new content comes out. Thank you for joining me, my friends. Until next time.